What's going on guys? Byron here from ETA Wheels. It's been a little while. Um, I apologize, had to take a little sabbatical, had to take care of my finals, um, you know, had some court stuff. Had, had a bunch of stuff actually, had a bunch of stuff. Um, for those who don't know, I am in the process of going through the very laborious process of getting custody of my, uh, my younger two kids. Love you guys. Anyway, Mr. Panda, Mr. Llama, I hate to leave you guys hanging. And for everybody else, we're gonna do a gear review today. I've actually got a couple of videos that I'm gonna be banging out today. Um, I know I've kind of left you hanging a little bit, apologize, but that's okay. Like I said, I had a lot of stuff to do. So, <clears throat> one of the things that I've noticed I really kind of need here in the studio, I need some better lighting. And uh, hopefully, What's down here will be the cure for that. Now this is a brand called ProMage, which I've never heard of before. ProMage, I guess it would be ProMage. It's yeah, I'm going with ProMage. I'll show you. You guys can figure it out. What this is is it is a 180 LED panel. This is rechargeable. It's got a built-in battery. Um, 12 watts. Warm lamp, 90. Cold lamp, 90. Input for charging is either USB 5 volt, type C, or micro USB. They give you two options, that's pretty dope. We've got a light, a color temperature, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. You've got a 1200 lumen light, so this thing is pretty, Pretty damn bright, and I can tell you testing it in the store, I was I was freaking blind. Um, it's got a lighting angle of 120 degrees. It's got a color re rendering of 96, and it has a 50,000 50,000 hour okay 50,000 hour lighting uh, ability. 4,000 milliamp hour battery, so it's it's got quite a large battery in it. The weight is approximately 210 grams. If you guys are in the States, you can punch that into Google and do the conversion. Um, it's about half a pound, roughly. Working temperature is negative 10 to 40 Celsius. Y'all got Google. Dimensions are 150.9 by 76 by 10 millimeter. Look guys, the rest of the world, other than America, uses the metric system. If you don't know what these are, Google. Charging time is about 180 minutes, so about three hours. See, that's not even metric right there, buddy. Usage time is about 120 minutes below 100% power. So it's got 5500K, which is going to be your pure white, and then it's got um, the 3100K, which is going to be your soft uh, white. Uh, it is black, and it is pretty cool. This is what the box looks like. We're going to move you over here, and we'll be back. All right, guys, so we're back. Now, if you notice, I've shut off the overhead light here a little bit. Get you a better picture of the box there. Now this thing was about 35 bucks, so it's not super expensive. And this is what it looks like inside the box. So, okay, at some point this thing will come out. There we go. All right, so this, you don't wanna throw this away. I know a lot of people are just gonna take it and chuck it. This is your light diffuser. So this is what it looks like on the back. If you notice here, there's a little LCD panel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna turn the lighting all the way down to the lowest it'll go, so that way I'm not blind. So here we're at, this is 1%. It gives you any idea. This is just 1%. Okay? 
Now while it's over here, I'm gonna turn this up to 100%, but before I do that, I'll show you that groovy little status panel on the back here. That thing is dope. Now I haven't charged this. This is literally from the box. Um, this is the 4200K. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna change the color temperature down to, this is 3100 Kelvin. This is a very nice, soft light. I like this, like this. I, I think this would be good. I think this would be really good for, for doing vlogging and stuff. Um, also, we'll get into the features here in a minute. I'm figuring this out while I'm doing this for you guys, by the way. I haven't even read the manual yet, which is this thing over here. So, under the plastic tray, you've got a USB Type-C charging cable, very short little booger, and you've got a very short little um, micro USB. I want to show you guys this. Seriously, manufacturers, I get it, you're trying to save a couple bucks, but really, dude, what the fuck are you gonna charge with this? Let's be real, all right? You plug this in and it'll barely lay on the ground. You would have to have whatever you're, you're plugging this into on the ground. Good thing I have plenty of USB-C and micro USB cables. And you get your hot shoe, cold shoe mount, which threads in right here. Now this uses a double nut on it. So you're just gonna thread it in until it bottoms out. And you're gonna lock the light position with this top nut. And then you're gonna lock it onto the cold shoe with the second nut. So there's two nuts. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the overhead now so we can see a little better. But before I do that, we're gonna keep the color temperature at 3100 and we're gonna spike this up to 100%. So this is 100% brightness. And this is the warm color temperature. Dude, this is awesome. This is really, this is, this is almost exactly perfect. So if you're like me and you have a small um, vlog setup, I, I just have my kitchen table and, and this is actually in, in the hallway of my apartment that you can see behind me. So let's change the color temperature, which you can go from 3100 all the way up to 5,500, which is gonna be your pure white. And you can go anywhere in between 3,100 and 5,500 Kelvin. So this is your stupid bright. I don't know what else to call it. This is your ignorant bright. Bam. I can't even look at this right now because I'm not gonna be able to see a damn thing. This is, this is like, if I'm Indiana Jones, and this is the Ark of the Covenant. Ah! I'm melting. That's it. I'm done. All right. This is almost too bright. But you know what this is awesome for? This is going to be awesome when I go outside and I film my uh, maintenance videos because this is a nice light. Now, remember I told you not to throw away the diffuser? Now do you see why? Gives it a nice, not overly bright. I can set it off over here. I'm not, you guys can't see it, but if you're looking at this through the camera, there's like zebra lines all over it going, hey, stupid, you need to change your aperture because it's too bright. Meh. That's pretty cool. I gotta say, I like it. So let's see what it looks like with the diffuser on 3100K, which is where I'm probably gonna be using it the most. I'm sorry, yeah, 3100K. This is probably where I'm gonna be using it the most. Now this is 100% brightness. 
We're going to go ahead, press the mode button and the down arrow. This is 50%. So this is pretty good, I think. And were I to set this just to show you what it looks like, this is about ju just about where it would mount on the camera. So that's pretty good. That's that's pretty impressive. And it's got a very, it's got a good wide throw of light. And again, we'll, we'll rock this all the way down. Okay, this is 5%. So just at 5%, it's like this is a perfect light. And you can see the, the battery gauge meter if you want to run this thing at 5% at 3,100 Kelvin, if you don't know what Kelvin temperature is for lighting, get on Google. It's just a method of rating it, okay? I, you know what? I'm going to do a future video and explain how Kelvin lighting works. But for example, if you're buying um, HID lights for your car and you want to get pure white, you're gonna put it up to, you're, you're gonna to wanna to buy, like this is 4,500, this is a lot of OEMs have that. This is gonna be your pure white, or as close to pure white as you can get. And if I turn the brightness up here, again, this is 4,500 Kelvin. So this is gonna be like the same light that you would have on an HID light that comes from the factory on your car. And the whole purpose of it is just um, so that you can see everything clearly. You can change the color temperature, go up to 5,500. If you guys notice on the, on the film here, or on the film, wow, I sound ancient. If you notice on the light on the, this video, this is 5,500 Kelvin, so this is a little bit of a blue hue, okay? For those of you who are curious or care, the lights on the Cadillac are 4,500 Kelvin. This is 5,500 Kelvin, okay? According to this, I can rock this for one hour and 11 minutes at 100%. And if I drop it back down to 3,100, right? Again, this is 4,500. This is your pure white. I'm going to drop it down to 3100. This is closer to like a halogen light. So for, for those of you who are curious, um, like the Instagram uh, video, like where, where the, the models are, are taking little videos. <laughs> right? When they're doing that on the Instagram videos, they're using 3100 Kelvin, which is kind of a, a like a halogen type light. But it's a nice soft light, and you can see it here, especially with the diffuser. Now, at 100%, at 3100 Kelvin, I get one hour and 10 minutes. So it doesn't really change it. But let's say you're going for the Instagram model, right? You're going to put this at about 50% at 3100 K, and... Mmm. Bye bye, OnlyFans. All right. So as illuminating as this has been, we'll be back. Alrighty guys, so I've switched over to my other camera. Don't mind this thing on my collar, that's my extra microphone. And that's the microphone, this is my DJI Osmo. In case you guys are curious, this is what the Sarmonic uh, mic receiver looks like. Just kind of daisy chains on here. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and pop this off. And we're gonna go ahead and switch the ZV-1 off. Flip that back. So I'm gonna show you how to install this and I'm gonna show you that it actually does work on a ZV-1 with the, um, the creator handle or whatever they call it. I can't remember exactly. So first you're gonna put the, the hot shoe, cold shoe mount. This is actually cold shoe device. Now you're probably going, what the heck is a cold shoe? Well, I'm going to show you real quick, actually. That's something I feel hasn't really been covered very much. That is a hot slash cold shoe. 
What that means, that little pin right there can receive data from certain devices that are connected in this spot. It's also a size, which you can see right there. And so you stick it into the top here and you turn this lower nut down, which one thing I already don't like about this light is it is a plastic nut. I'm not a big fan of plastic nuts. Anyway, it doesn't have to be too tight, so just tight and just a little bit finger tight. Guys, you're, you don't need to gorilla torque it, all right? Next, you take this nut. Yeah, that's right. Okay. This nut will usually be threaded on there. There's a little space for it and it bottoms out. So what you're going to do is thread this. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can do it this way if you want to do it on the camera. Now that I'm thinking about it a little bit more. Again, this is the first time I've ever used this or anything quite like this. So I'm figuring it out as you see it. So you're going to thread it on. Back it off about a quarter turn. There we go. And that way you can just stab it on, screw it down. And I'll take a minute to show you guys. That's what it looks like when it's switched off. You can see there's white LEDs and then there's, that's the 5500. And then you can see the 3100K LEDs. And you're just making a blend between the two when you, when you go back and forth. So we're going to go ahead and press and hold, switch it on. So now we have 50% at 3100 Kelvin. We're going to slide the diffuser in place. That's what it looks like. Pretty cool, huh? And we're going to go ahead and set this over here. Locate the power button. Okay, we've hit the power button. Now, the downside to this is the ZV-1, as configured from the factory, only has one hot cold shoe mount. So unfortunately, we're kind of stuck there. Now, I'm looking at the screen here, and what I'm going to do is adjust color temperature till I'm happy with what I see and I'm pretty happy with that that's that's pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and get off of this and we're gonna jump onto this so now you can kind of see what it looks like here um, with this light I'm gonna go ahead and check out the decorations by the way and happy 4th of July for all my other Americans that are here and abroad got a little bit of a uh, 2020, 2021 decorations here. I got the metal hand. I got the American flag. This is flown. This is flown on a combat mission in Afghanistan. I have my normal. What's up, Cousin Whitney? If you're out there, got some hand sanitizer, because why not? And then I got my three different uh, color profiles up here, which you can barely see, but that's okay. So let's see what this looks like now. <clears throat> that was done for a couple of reasons. Number one, I didn't really necessarily want to show off the shelf behind me, but I wanted to show you what it looks like as I come in and go away when I turn off the bigger overhead light. And you can kind of see, like, this is a really nice lighting effect. Now, for the camera, I'm going to go ahead and take off the glasses, which sometimes I need them and sometimes I don't. Whatever. Anyway. This is a nice light. I'm very happy with this. And the setting that I ended up on is 5% at 3,100 Kelvin. So this is, it'll go a little lower. Okay, there's 1%. And I'm just going to bring it up. I'm going to keep it at the 3,100 Kelvin. But I'm just going to bring up the lighting slowly. 
and that's 100% and I can't see a damn thing beyond this light. So we're just going to adjust it back down. Hey, there's that sexy guy again. The other thing it comes with is this really nice velvet pouch. I don't know if it's actual velvet or just velvety feeling. What I see out of this pouch, because of the way that it's designed, all I see is this thing picking up dirt. So like me personally, oh, it's actually nice and, it's nice and smooth on the inside here, guys. That's pretty dope. So anyway, there you have it in a nutshell. That is the, probably help if I grab the top box. That is the ProMage PM180. Now who actually makes this? I don't know. This ProMage, there, there's a bunch of different brands. Um, I think Newer is another one. There, there's so many just copycat of copycat of copycat. It's, it's hard to keep track. This is what they had when I went into Grand Stores Digital. Grand Stores Digital, if you're watching, I'd love a sponsorship. I'd love to make product demos for you. I'm gonna read you the owner's manual because this is fun and painful and fun. Manual, LED 180 pieces lamps. Hope you guys can read that. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't really know, but I'm gonna read it to you because welcome to Sarge's story time. Thank you for purchasing our products. The LED video light is designed for the daily convenient shooting. The appearance is small, sized, and portable, convenient to operate, high precision circuit board, is perfect matched with high lumen SMD lamp beads, which makes the luminescence more precise. High color rendering index and the light more soft and even. High strength aluminum alloy frame with moist proof and shock proof, which is widely used in various shooting. No matter it is used with camera or mobile phone, it is a good and it is a good indispensable helper for you. Please carefully read the instruction before you use the product and keep it after your review so that you can refer to it in later days. Gentlemen, if you're in China and you're writing instruction manuals for this, hit me up. I will write this manual for you. Warnings. Notice it just said that it was moisture proof. I want you to pay attention to that. Here we go, kids. Warnings. Please keep it dry. Do not touch this product with wet hands. Do not immerse the product in water or expose to rain. Well, shit. In the paragraph above that, which is like a paragraph long run on sentence, just for the record, I'm not even a hardcore grammar guy. And I'm like, all right. Anyway, <clears throat> warning number two. This product cannot be seriously guys if you're in mainland china and you're writing an english version of your manual hit me up down below let's do some business let me write your manual for you please this product cannot be waterproof please pay attention to moist in rainy days and wet conditions Number three, keep out of reach of children. Bad children, bad baby, no selfie for you. With built-in lithium battery, prohibit disassembly, impact, extrusion, or put into fire. Don't fucking crush it. Don't fucking burn it. Don't fucking take it apart. There you go. That one was free, China. Number five, 
Do not use in the presence of flammable gases, otherwise may cause explosion or fire. So if you're crawling inside an aircraft fuel cell, this is probably not the light you want. That's what I took away from that. Also, if you're doing fuel tank work on your car, this is probably not the light for you. Do not use, store, or charge battery in high temperature environment or in closed space under direct sunlight. Really? I told you this, this, this is painful, but we have to keep going because this is for science. <clears throat> Do not use, comma, store, comma, or change the battery. It's charge. It's charge, not change. Or charge the battery in a high temperature environment or in a closed space under direct sunlight. This product cannot be used at an ambient temperature of more than 40 degrees. That would be Celsius. For you guys that are in the States going, dang foreign communists, and they're Celsius. <clears throat> Approximately 38.5 Celsius is 100 Fahrenheit. So that's, let's say 105. So if you're in Arizona in the summertime and you're vlogging, you may potentially have a problem if you're in direct sunlight in a closed building. Number seven, please use the specified charger to charge the battery and use it within the specified voltage and temperature range in accordance with the correct operating instructions. There is no charger provided. You get a mother effing tiny cable. Right? I'm a size seven and a three eighths hat. This is a tiny, look. Give us a one meter cable, okay? Because you know what? We're gonna use it for more than just charging this light. China. Pay attention. I want you to get better business. I want you to build better products. I'm giving you some feedback. So, Pro Mage, if you're watching this, give us at least a half meter. At least a half meter cable for you Americans that are scratching your fucking heads. It's about one and a half feet. One meter is 3.3 .3 feet. So one, so, so a half meter cable is about a foot and a half. Two foot cable, somewhere thereabouts. <clears throat> this product involves a battery Please strictly follow the corresponding operation specifications for use of the battery. Otherwise, it may cause an explosion or fire. Precautions. After charging is complete, unplug the power cord. Duh. If you have not used the product for a long period of time, Charge the battery before using the product again. Otherwise, the product cannot be turned on without power. No shit. I see where your heart's at, China. But come on. In order to prolong the service life of the battery, it is recommended to charge and maintain it every three months. This product has, built, has a built-in rechargeable lithium battery, which has a certain life limit. After using for a certain period of time, the performance will be reduced, but it is normal situation. Notice they don't tell you how long the lifetime actually is. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up there. 
This is, um, as you can see, it's putting out a very nice light. I'm very happy with this light overall. Um, it's, it's about the size, shape, and weight of a mobile phone, to be honest with you. Uh, you know what? It is smaller than a Paco X3 Pro. So, there you go. It's, it's about the size of an iPhone 12 standard. All right? There you go, size-wise. It is a little bit smaller than this bag. I've already read the dimensions off to you earlier. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and sign off. Very happy with the kit. And now that I've been using it for a while, I just want to say it is not hot at all to the touch, which I kind of expected it to be. So I'm kind of surprised. Again, this is a cheap light, and I'm very happy with it. So, um, yeah, that's all I got to say. This is, this is what it looks like again. And is there a part number on this thing? PM180. Lumen Pocket PM180. That's, that's what the, um, that's what the box says. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. I found it at the Grand Stores Digital. Again, it was like 35 or 40 bucks. It really is not very expensive. But I will say, honestly, fit, finish, the way that it feels, it's very, very nice quality. Um, even handling it when I was, when I was doing the, the video earlier, I was very, very, very happy with it um, overall. So this is Byron, and you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm going to go ahead and get set up for the next product.